Hi and a weekend welcome to Steve's Kitchen. We're gonna have some fun in the kitchen today. There is a recipe that's trending here in Australia and if you haven't seen it yet, you must have been living under Ayers Rock. Just come down here and have a look at this. We've got toffee, saltine crackers, chocolate, hazelnuts on the top. And I can really see why this has been trending because it's absolutely delicious. There's a combination of dime bar, toffee, chocolate. I mean, everything is good about this. Now, there is a cracker here in Australia. It's a saltine cracker called Salada. When I went to my local store, it was completely out of stock. So I guess everybody is buying them. I had to shop around to get a box. They are a saltine cracker. You can probably get a similar sort of thing in every country in the world. Come on, join me. Let's get on and make this chocolate toffee nut cracker and come up with a better name for it for me. Let's go. A quick scoot through the ingredients. We've got our saltine crackers, of course, one cup of salted butter, a packed cup of soft brown sugar. I've also got a cup of nuts here. I'm using hazelnuts. You could use any nuts that you like. We're gonna be using a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of salt, and of course, about half a pound, or call it 250 grams of your favorite chocolate. Now pop your butter, and your compacted brown sugar into a saucepan. Now we're just going to melt the butter and the sugar in the pan. Now when that comes to a boil like that, we're going to let this simmer for about three to four minutes just to let the sugars caramelize. Just keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't boil over. Now whilst that simmers, I've got a baking tray here. I've just lined it with a little bit of baking paper and we're just gonna take our salada crackers. And luckily for me, they pretty much fit perfectly. Now this tray is about 10 inches by 18. Uh, if you've got a slightly different tray, you can always break up the crackers to fit. Back over at the stove, you can see the caramel has started to form now. It's been just over three minutes, so I'm gonna turn the heat off now. I'm going to add in a little pinch of salt and about half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Just give that a little mix through. And now I'm gonna take that beautiful toffee and I'm gonna pour it over the top of my saladas. We've got to do this while it's nice and hot. Now I have preheated an oven to 175 degrees Celsius. That's 350 Fahrenheit. I'm just gonna push the caramel over the corners. We pop the whole tray now into the oven for about 15 minutes to let the toffee start to set. Whilst I've got that oven on, I'm also gonna take my hazelnuts, I'm gonna pop them onto another tray, and I'm just gonna roast those and get a nice nutty brown to them. Now keep an eye on the toffee while it's in the oven. I've just had a little peek. We're about 13 minutes now, and I think it's probably done enough. You don't want it to go too black. The hazelnuts as well are looking beautiful and toasted. When I bring that out, you can see it's been about 14 minutes now. We've got this beautiful bubbling going on on top. Straight away, we're gonna take our blocks of chocolate, and I'm just gonna evenly pop them over the top of our caramel. Now be patient, we're just gonna let the heat of the caramel melt our chocolate down, and then I'll use a crank handle spatula just to level it over. It'll take two or three minutes at the most. In the meantime, I'm gonna take the hazelnuts out and let them cool down as well. Now you can see after just a minute or so, the chocolate has started to melt. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna use a crank handle spatula to coat all the toffee over with some beautiful chocolate. Now I could use these whole hazelnuts, and it's a shame in a way to break them up, but I am gonna break them. Just pop them onto my chopping board, and then I'm just gonna use uh, a knife to cut these up. I don't want the hazelnut pieces to be too small. I want them to be fairly coarse. Now, the smell coming off of these hazelnuts. If you ever had a chocolate bar in Germany called Hanuta, that's what I'm getting at the moment from that smell. Now, if you like salted caramel or salted chocolate, take some lovely flaked salt, and we're just gonna sprinkle it over the top of our chocolate while it's still soft. And then we're gonna take our hazelnuts and then we're just going to sprinkle them over the top of the chocolate. Now you have to be patient and let this completely cool down. You could pop it in the fridge to speed it up and come back and join me in a second. It's set up nice and firm. Are you ready to get it out? Have you come up with a name for it yet? Now I left these little extra bits here. Oh, look at that out in one piece. How beautiful is that? Now it's not a toffee cracker for no reason. I've got my little cleaver here and I think we'll just break this up. <laughs> How beautiful is that? So chocolate toffee nut crackers it is. Here goes, I'm gonna give this a try. I wanna hear your comments. I want some photographs. Get them across on social media too, at Steve's Kitchen. Come on, I'm absolutely dying to taste this. 
Mm. Oh. Well, I can tell why this is so popular. This is absolutely delicious. Do you like dime bars? It's got that dime bar, it's got that nut in there. You have to try it. Let me know what you think. And we will see you for another episode of Steve's Kitchen very shortly. Take care. <laughs>